Today, we will talk about understanding a bill of materials, BOM. A bill of materials is a detailed list of raw materials, components, and instructions needed to create, manufacture, or repair a product or service. It is organized in a hierarchical format, with the finished product at the top and individual components and materials below. A bill of materials is essential for manufacturing a product. It contains a list of all items required to create the product and instructions on how to assemble it. Creating an accurate BOM is crucial to ensure that parts are available when needed and that the assembly process runs smoothly. Bills of materials can be displayed in two ways, an explosion display or an implosion display. An explosion display breaks down the assembly into individual components, while an implosion display links individual parts to the higher level assembly. There are two main types of bills of materials, engineering BOMs and manufacturing BOMs. Engineering BOMs define the design of the finished product, while manufacturing BOMs include all the parts and assemblies required to construct the finished item. A bill of materials is used for estimating the cost of materials, planning purchases, ensuring part availability, and avoiding production delays. It shows the relationship between the finished product and its components. Using a bill of materials can streamline and improve the efficiency of the manufacturing process, reduce waste, identify vulnerabilities in product components, and help companies stay ahead of materials shortages or supply chain disruptions. A bill of materials is an integral part of the engineering and manufacturing process. It facilitates efficiency, reduces waste, and ensures the availability of necessary parts. Here are four key takeaways. 1. A bill of materials, BOM, is a centralized source of information containing a list of items used to manufacture a product and the instructions on how to do so. 2. Often shown in a hierarchical way, a bill of materials lists the finished product at the top, followed by individual components and materials. 3. Bills of materials can be presented as an explosion display or an implosion display. 4. The two main types of bills of materials are manufacturing bills of materials and engineering bills of materials. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.